Hi guys, I'm glad to see you on my channel and I'm glad to welcome you to our cute little house that we've rented here in Tbilisi, Georgia. Well, in the suburbs of Tbilisi, Georgia, quite far from the city, but anyway. I've been waiting for a sunny day to film it, but there are no sunny days in this fall season. <laughs> so, let's see it. Here is the entrance and everything in this house, well, almost everything belongs to the landlord, like all the furniture, decor pieces, uh, except for some our personal belongings like books and pillows and children's toys and just a little bit of children <laughs> so here is the giant uh, wardrobe there is almost nothing on this shelves uh, because like we don't have anything to put here but here's a little cactus baby cactus I hope it will not die because almost all of the plants die when I take care of them. But this is the landlord's cactus, so it's not even mine. Almost all of our clothes, um, I mean mine and my husband's, uh, fit in this wardrobe. Also all the pillows and blankets and all the like bed sheets. So like here's our the clothes that we hang, like jackets and all of that. Uh, children's jackets. Here are other clothes. I mean, everything we have fits in here because this is just a giant wardrobe. Let's go further to my favorite place in the house. And here is the beautiful painting. I have no idea who the artist is, but yeah, anyway, it's a beautiful painting, also the landlords. The kitchen and living room area. So we have a beautiful place to cook food and to eat this food and a nice living room area with the couch and the fireplace so let me show you the kitchen first here are some more plants that are trying not to die in our house <laughs> they're in the survival mode the fridge um, the cute kitchen area we have dishes that also belong to the landlord and we use them we don't have any dishes that belong to our to us so here are just things that we use on the first two shelves, on the top shelves, I put everything that we don't use. So here is some food, more food, like filter, a little bit more food, just, just a little bit of stuff. I, I don't usually, um, we don't usually have too much things in the kitchen, so most of the wardrobes are not very used. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah, do you want it? Here is one thing I wanted to show you. Oh. These are things for the barbecue that we use uh, here in Georgia. And they remind me of the things for, um, you know, like, Fechta Vanya. And here is the cooking zone. And I really like this stove because it has gas, like things, and it has an electrical one as well. So when the gas is shut down, we use this one. And when the electricity is shut down, we use this one because this happens sometimes. <laughs> and I've noticed when we moved in this house, I've noticed that probably I have a slight obsession with uh, squares because squares are everywhere here. like. You see this kitchen, I fell in love with it and then I was like, is it because of the squares? Because like this table also <laughs> has squares and I actually really like it. I mean, I don't know if it's a handmade one or if they bought it like that, but I think it's very cool. Like the tiles in the middle of the table it looks, looks kind of cool. And this is one of the, the furniture pieces that are ours. It's just the kids chair. Here is the living room part uh, to chill on the couch. Uh, we have also a very cool piece of art here. I don't know the artist as well, but I really like it. Um, and the, the lamp here is also very nice. We have actually, to be honest, we have the sofa coverage, uh, that like the blanket that we used to cover the sofa from the kids. It was here already when we moved in. But it's, it's pretty ugly, so I took it away to film this video. And I need to find 
the same color of uh, the blanket to cover it so it would look nice because right now it's like crazy blue color and it doesn't match anything here so yeah put it away but yeah I hope my kids will not destroy the couch in five minutes <laughs> And here is the beautiful fireplace. We used it once, but it's really nice to have a fireplace in the house. Sometimes we put just candles in here uh, and like use it as a fireplace, but without burning wood. And unfortunately, about a month after we moved in, um, like this, this little baby fell off here. It's very upsetting because it was also a very beautiful like granite marble thing and it cracked uh, because of the tiles on the ground but the landlord said that uh, he'll fix it uh, somewhere somewhere in the future but we don't know when so it's just it is how it is. Here we have a, an interesting orthodox corner but it's it's also not ours. It belongs to the landlord but he asked us to keep it so it just stays here. Just some random stuff. We have Agatha's crafts and puzzles everywhere here. Also this room as sort of a playroom for Agatha. Um, all, of the, all of her toys are here in this room. So in this wardrobes and in this one, these are like everything she plays with, all the books. And if you, if you, if you look closer, um, these are actually like little wardrobes, you can see uh, things from here and this one, this one was going inside, there were like three of them and I just took them out because I wanted to use it like Montessori shelf, like something like that. <laughs> yeah, so we have it like that, I put them away and I kept one for books, I think it's, it's kind of cool, just like a, like a shelf. That one as well, there were little wardrobes and I just took them out. One thing I also very like about this house is the ceiling and all the lights that go under the ceiling. They go like that all around the house and the ceiling is the same everywhere in the house. I really like this style, it's something like loft. I think it looks very cool. Here is a little corner, it's a very interesting one. I've never seen anything like that. So you, you like you go inside here here is a washing machine and also here is like a little corner inside also like doesn't have any real purpose so it looks kind of weird but we used it as a little closet and as a pet space so here is the cat's toilet uh first and then on the little stand here is the giant red cage for our rats and you can see that it goes like here is a like a, a sort of window window to the kitchen hey привет, привет. <laughs> so we can feed them from the kitchen like let me show you from the, another side so we can come right from the kitchen and feed them the cat likes to sit here next to the rats She's like meditating and looking at them all day long. Probably she wants to eat them, but they're in the cage, so there is no way she can get them. Let's go to the bathroom now. Here my obsession with uh, squares <laughs> continues. I love the square tiles. I don't know what's about them, I just love them. So it's a very small, cute uh, bathroom. Just everything that we use is kind of here for all four of us here are some kids stuff toilet kids toilet the shower the shower is very important <laughs> so here is the bathroom and now um toda, toda. okay uh let's go to our bedroom first so here it is, we co-sleep with kids and the baby's sleeping here. She's, she's in her bed. Uh, the baby's sleeping, I'll be a little quieter. And these are children's beds that my husband made and 
I was quite impressed, so I tell it to everybody who comes to see our house. Our bed, like nothing Papa. interesting. And here is another corner. This one looks quite empty because there were some uh, furniture pieces that we didn't use and I asked the landlord to put it away just a couple of days ago. So I'm thinking about getting something like a plant here, like, like this. I hope it will not die too. <laughs> and an interesting thing is that many pieces in this house are quite old. Uh, I mean the furniture. The house itself is very modern, it's new, the design is, is new, but some of the furniture pieces are very, very, uh, well, not very, but quite old, something like a vintage style. So this uh, mirror, it has a lot of, like, it's hard to see anything in this mirror properly, but I still like it. And like all of this is very, it looks old too, but it looks cool. The mirror and the children's wardrobe, the oldest one and the smallest one. And I think most of Adeline's, the, the baby's clothes are in the laundry because you see there is like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, she has clothes, but they're in the laundry. Yeah, so all of their clothes are here. This is not the most uh, convenient uh, place to put the children's clothes because they kind of mix and make a mess, but it works for now, so we keep it here. Uh, we have only one floor here, and uh, this is like all the space, so we have only one room left. And I also wanted to mention that for some reason, I've seen in many Georgian houses that they like to put tiles on the first floor everywhere, and here's only one floor, so yeah, like literally, these are tiles, this is not wood, this is just very cold. <laughs> floor <laughs> so we use heating a lot i love that there is a lot of heaters in the house uh like this uh, radi radiators radiators so anyway let's move to the last room and it's our guest bedroom slash uh workspace office room filming studio like multi-purpose place uh also it's the cat's room because she sleeps here all the time <laughs> so uh, here is the, the guest bed that we're going to use now. This is the workspace, the main workspace where I edit videos, uh, do all the like emails. My husband works here and studies here, have our main computer here, like the only one. So yeah, it's just a little table in front of the window and there are also some stuff in the work. Like, documents and all the boring stuff here in this uh, cabinet and uh, the decor piece that I like also I like this um, this looks like something from Star Wars this is like a filming setup when we film like my husband's or I when we film uh, videos where we just sit and talk this is kind of a nice background the nicest one we could make <laughs> so we tried our best <laughs> So here are all of the books and just little decor pieces. These things my husband had for years. These are like little Soviet decor pieces. Uh, just some books here. We have we we'll have some games, uh, some board games that we've been playing a lot with uh, when we had our friends. When we had our friends when they were staying over. So lot of board games and from this side of the house we also have a little yard uh, I'll probably not show it to you but it's just a little yard with the grass and with the um, barbecue zone so if you want me to film barbecue with this <laughs> metal sticks it will be the place where I'll be filming <laughs> like the, the, the little yard with the barbecue zone oh also Agatha reminded me of this this is like a cute little feature. I mean, that's cute. That's really romantic. Uh, if you're working in the evening or if you're just walking around, you turn the main light off and this looks really, really nice actually. So this is our house we enjoy living for now. Uh, this is the place that I'm really glad that I found and that we were able to rent it. Uh, this is a very 
cute little house quite far from Tbilisi but still it's like in the suburbs so thank you guys a lot for uh, joining us today is excited thank you a lot for watching and i hope you like this place write down what you like the most about the house hope to see you in the next video bye bye you can go now <laughs>